From projects like a raised garden bed to growing new to us food and composting, to math in the garden and measuring and tracking growth, soil mixtures and formulas and fractions, to reading and hands-on activities in the classroom, this is a garden school diary. Most of our gardening in the past has been container gardening, but this year we took on projects of actually rooting our flower plants into the earth and growing more food plants in a raised garden bed. And as our seeds sprout and plants grow, we measure, track, log, we harvest, and we eat. How many green beans did you grab? Huh? How many green beans did you pick today? Nine. Nine green beans. The next big project this season was in washing and repotting 27 plants. Through this process, my team got a close look into the plant's root system, plant nutrition, and how to treat and cure plant disease. family that's outdoors for the most part of our day so I encourage handwriting and perhaps creating a list of our flowers or a 10 minute sight word review we always keep chalk and a chalkboard handy Bella, my seven-year-old, also enjoys activities like size sequencing leaves or plants, uh, measuring plant sizes, measuring the circumference of pots, 
And I also made up a game recently she really enjoys, uh, which is matching leaf clippings to their respective plant. What about three o'clock? Okay, okay, what about five o'clock? Okay, what about ten o'clock? You can pick up the Ten o'clock. The tricky one, what about twelve o'clock? Ooh, that's a tricky tricksters. I keep a humble shelf with supplies and toys for the children to access at all times while we're outdoors. Toys like animal figures and Barbies that I don't mind getting outside wear. Also a board game or two and a puzzle. Of course, plenty of chalk. And actual gardening supplies such as knee pads, uh, ropes for building uh, games or forts, gardening gloves and tool belts, uh, pots, labels, shovels, kid-sized tools are important, nets for insect catching, and a hula hoop is a must for gardening games. We also like to store measuring tools out here for math in the garden, beakers and measuring tape, measuring cups and spoons. And then of course there's the organic exploration that comes with spending your days in the garden. Smelling, tasting, colors and shapes in the garden, discovering textures, fine and gross motor skills in transferring soil or water, shoveling, pruning, clipping and harvesting, play and so much play.
nature studies inspired in the garden. For example, this year we planted three new to us pollinator flowers, which prompted Bella to want to study further into pollination. She dissected a hibiscus bud from the garden down to the pollen tube and asked to reference books for information. She then helped herself to examining her dissection under a microscope, which led us to learning and journaling about the anatomy of a flower. has become a big love for our family this past school year. It's also a way for us to document the organic learning that is unschooling and garden schooling. For gardening, we journaled out a map of our raised garden bed project. Bella also chose two food plants to track and log the growth, harvest, and any other observation. We study the garden through reading. We love a good picture book, not just of beautiful illustrations, but with educational text. The Tiny Seed delivers us learning of the many various and natural ways a seed can be planted. Up in the garden and down in the dirt, one of our favorite nature series of picture books. This is the sweetest story of the love of gardening shared between a grandmother and granddaughter. We read through the process of the garden through the seasons, with views of the garden's cycle up in the garden and the busy world under the dirt. We Are the Gardeners is a family adventure of starting a garden together. It taught us lessons in overcoming obstacles, learning from failures, and that the learning process is part of our gardening journey. Shoots, Buckets, and Boots, a book about the simple act of connecting children to nature through gardening. In this gardening book, the author presents 12 ideas in the garden uh, where parents and kids can learn together. The ideas in container gardening and garden snacking are what mostly drew me into this resource. Anatomy by Julia Rothman are two other books that we reference to often for further garden study and nature journaling inspiration. Welcome to the Museum series. 
and this is the most beautifully curated and illustrated guide to plant life this really is an elegant museum in your hands of botanical knowledge uh, cross sections on the first plants plant environments pollination plant species from trees perennials grasses bulbs to tropical Also learn through art and in this specific craft it doubled as a math review on spatial awareness and size sequencing. favorite garden themed resources in the classroom has been the yoga garden game and this is a cooperative game kids naturally love to move and enjoy yoga and since the yoga positions are named after animals and objects found in nature kids can develop their imaginations and awareness of the environment while learning different poses the objective of the yoga garden game is to plant a flower garden before night falls. As players move the bumblebee marker around the board, they learn classic yoga postures and have the chance to invent their own. And our hands-on approach just isn't outside in the garden and it doesn't end when we make our way back indoors. We continue to learn through hands-on activities in the classroom. <music> 